Hey everyone, I would like to use this video to remind everyone that the Mirage does have guns and that by utilizing them, you can stretch out your low missile count to squeeze out more from your sorties. In DCS, Generation 4 fights revolve around missiles, so your missile count does become really important. Having more missiles gives you more opportunities and freedom to force enemies cold and to press an advantage. With only four missile pylons on the Mirage, every single missile shot becomes precious. So when possible, you want to be able to hold your missiles and save them later. My hope is that with this video, you feel more comfortable going guns in the Mirage, so you can generate more from your sorties. If this is your first time here, this channel focuses on multiplayer sim gameplay, so if you're into that, please subscribe. In order to get proficient using guns, you need to be able to reliably survive what I call the danger zone, or the initial missile barrage. The missiles obviously have longer range than guns, so you need to cut the distance without getting hit so you can get into gun range. Depending on your comfort level and or your greediness, this comes in a couple different forms which we'll, you will cover. We're going to hop into some examples, which I will break down further. All these examples come from the Conquest server. I am flying a Mirage on a patrol here, and I know that I have an F-18 that is coming near me. I get locked and he launches. First things first is to get eyes on the target and to see where he's firing from, which I see here, and I reposition myself to get my plane and the missile in a 3-9 position, which will help to notch the missile. The game plan here will be to beat this missile and then to turn back in to neutralize the situation. I'm at a big disadvantage because I did not get to fire a missile at him, so he's completely hot on me while I'm defensive. As soon as I hear the RWR goes quiet, I'm going to turn back in and try to cut the distance. This is dangerous because if he relaunches, then I need to be able to quickly identify where it's coming from and to notch it. I see the missile launch is coming right at me and I'm able to defeat it. And now I know he's close and I need to get eyes on him. So now the situation's changed completely because now he's in my comfort zone. The Mirage is a king at a one circle fight, so basically all I need to do is get my nose on him and he's not going to be able to do much. He pretty much is flat turning, which is one of the worst things that he could do, but it's not World War II. He can't just nose up and fly away because I could shoot a missile at him, so knowing that I'm in a really comfortable position, I already know that I'm going to go for guns. And as you can see, just a straight up flat turn, very easy. He's probably panicking and trying to do a loop, and we're going to get guns here. So let's break this down a little bit more and discuss some of the particulars. In an ideal and fair scenario, we would have had a neutral merge, and the Mirage and the enemy would shoot at each other. In a Fox 1 only scenario, the planes will try to play a balance between maintaining a lock while notching the other's missile. When they beat the missile, they will then recommit and then do another joust. And then this rinses and repeats until one is hit, or they enter a furball where the Mirage is very good at. For using guns, you need to get into the furball. Now, not every fight is an ideal scenario, which is what we saw here. In that fight, what happened was that we were fired on first, and then we had to defend against two missiles before we could close the gap enough in order to start a dogfight. This situation is very normal for the DCS Mirage because the Mirage 2000 is generally a bit too modern for the Cold War servers but lacks Fox 3 missiles for the modern BVR servers. So more often than not, this, this sort of situation will happen where you get fired on first and you aren't able to return fire. We were fired on and we were unable to get a missile off to force the opponent cold. This is a really bad position to be in especially against a plane that has several misses, missiles because all he has to do is just press you and keep firing off missiles until you run out of energy to the point where you can't defend yourself. As soon as we defeated the first missile, we turned back in to try to close the distance again. We do not have a real data link in this plane, so really have to keep track of the other plane's position to know where to turn back in in order to cut the gap. When we did this, we were fired on again and we're lucky enough to beat that missile. This Hornet probably kept his throttle pegged, and when both his missiles missed, he shot out past us and then panic turned to try to keep his position, but instead burned all of his energy and ended up flat turning with us, which is what the Mirage wants to do. Key thing here 
is that you need to be able to survive the danger zone or the missile barrage. Jabbers has two particularly really good videos on this, which I would recommend if you want to go deeper into it. In the next example, we're going to be going over some quick tips on how to dogfight in the barrage. This is a good example because it starts off in a really bad situation. A Hornet directly behind us, and I don't know if he didn't have Sidewinders and he just wanted to go for a gun kill, but he comes in for a gun attack and we start to flat turn because that's what the Mirage is good at, but he's so close, I'm worried. So I begin a scissor and because the Mirage has Delta Wings, and just like the MiG-21, you can slow yourself down very, very quickly. And the air brakes are also very good on the Mirage. So we're going to use that to our advantage and get him to try to overshoot. Now I make a mistake here by bringing up my map because I wanted to bring in, bring back in my air brakes. And as I struggle to find my key map for that, I'm trying to avoid his nose. And we are getting quite slow. And we bring the air brakes back in. And what I'm about to do here is let the plane breathe. The corner speed, or the best turning uh, speed of the Mirage is around 350-360 knots and we got down to 200. He is pulling a lot of AOA. He's panicking. We're patient. We started this off at around 190 knots. We're about 280 knots and we are in a really good position now and feeling confident that we're gonna avoid the gun attack here and we roll back over to kind of to go back at him and pulling hard now to slow down to make sure he continues his overshoot and he stays in front of us and works like a charm. Gonna miss a really easy gun attack here but basically by using air brakes and the delta wings able to slow ourselves down and to get people to overshoot. The only risk though is slowing yourself down too much which this guy's doing right here. You have to let your plane breathe and to make sure that you don't slow yourself down by too much because can't do anything without any airspeed. And just like the other Hornet, this guy panics and tries to go vertical and, and we get him down pretty quickly. So really easy to find the Mirage, but also really easy to slow yourself down, so be careful of that. In the next example, we are going to see a situation where we actually have the advantage. And what I just fired was a Super 530D at this F-18. So he's gonna be forced to go cold and just as I was talking earlier, getting shot at and not returning fire puts you in a really tough spot because basically I can just barrel in toward this guy and all I need to do is just watch and make sure he doesn't get his nose on me and I can just keep pressing him. If he noses in toward me without beating the missile, then he's going to eat my missile. And I just sit here pretty and wait. Now. He was able to beat the first missile and I talked a lot earlier about wanting to get more out of your sorties because you only have four missiles. I could easily shoot a missile now and hit him. Um, but if he already gave me his tail and I have cannons, why bother wasting the missile? So that's the plan here. I am trying to get into a good position so I could get my guns on him. And my only worry here is making sure I don't get third party and not overshooting. And I'm basically going to use my turning ability and air brakes to slow down, which I just started to do. I pulled a little bit too much AOA and I just wait and I got him. So this is what I meant by earlier by getting more out of your sortie. Now these last couple examples, we're gonna be going over the gun sight. I don't like using the radar gun sight on the Mirage. Uh, I don't know many people that do. It is better than it used to be, uh, but I personally don't like it. And I just wanted to show some quick examples of how kind of quirky it is. So I'm locked, going for guns, and I'm trying to get that pipper on the F-18, and I'm just barely missing. And you're gonna see the point where I give up, which is now, now I'm aiming right here. And I don't know if it's just my World War II background of uh, flying so much IL-2, but I, I just don't like radar gun sights. Um, and I would recommend to just get familiar with kind of eyeballing and using your tracers. Uh, here's another example, an F-15. Uh, 
our magic missile barely missiles and goes towards the sun. And that looked like it should have hit, and now it does. But again, just an example of the gun side being a little quirky. In this last example, we're going to see a hornet trying to shake me in my mirage. The key takeaway from this is that it's really hard to shake a mirage once he's uh, in your control position. The only thing that I'm really worried about is running out of ammo or overshooting. And he's going to try essentially everything. He's going to try to scissor a little bit, he's going to try to flat turn, he's going to try to dive. Um, but no matter what, I'm pretty much staying behind him. And I only make really one mistake here, uh, which is about to come up, which is when I slowed myself down too much because I was scared of overshooting. We see his afterburners are off, and I'm expecting him trying to overshoot, and I my air brakes on, and I probably leave it on for a little bit too long because I basically went from 500 knots down to about 180. And, you know, he definitely was trying to make me overshoot because, look, he's also very, very slow. So I was able to, to recognize that. Gunsight being very finicky and quirky, so I tried to ignore it now, and I'm going to go for an eyeball shot here, which is, which works. So the key takeaway from this video is if you can defend yourself against missiles, close the gap, and get within a knife fight uh, as a mirage, you're probably going to win. If you're able to manage your speed, rely on overshoots, uh, don't forget that you have delta wings and don't slow yourself down too much. You're going to be able to pretty much win fights, uh, especially one circle fights. Uh, and the last thing is don't get hung up on the gun sight. I would just eyeball things. Uh, make sure you use tracer ammo. If you found this video helpful and interesting, please consider subscribing and I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you.